Today on Toy Shiz, maximum effort from a brand new Amazon exclusive Let's Talk Toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look at my friends over at Hasbro, and today we're totally checking out the brand new Amazon exclusive Dusty Deadpool, kind of, sort of, X-Force Deadpool from the Deadpool 2 movie. It's when he gets all singed at the end of that movie, if you remember. Here's the barcode, you don't really need it, it's an Amazon exclusive. And he does come in a nice white shipper box, so a lot more figures from those, like exclusivity-wise, have been coming in those, really protects them. So I think a lot of more people will be ordering, feeling safer, hopefully, fingers crossed, that you can get a nice, crisp, mint on-card figure, you know what I mean? Instead of getting one that looks like uh, it's been in a cat's mouth, so yeah. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Amazon exclusive Dusty Deadpool X-Force Deadpool 2 figure that's from Marvel Legends Hasbro. I completely forgot what I was saying in the midst of that sentence. And of course, here's old Dusty Deadpool spinning around for you, showing off like a boss. Lots of different accessories for this guy, and if you have the previous Deadpool that came with the two-pack with Negasonic Teenage Warhead, there isn't anything new. You're not really missing all too much except for the fact that he is a different colored Deadpool. Same body type, same weapons, same hands, same everything else, except for one minor thing that I will point out in just a second, but I do like the large selection of hands and weapons that he comes with. The figure itself is nice. It is reminiscent of how he looks. The movie minus the belt. I think it's a little bit too bright. But here's the thing. The guns are glued in. And when you think Deadpool, Deadpool uses handguns. The weird thing is, on my two-pack Deadpool, the guns came right out. It didn't have to force them or do anything. It wasn't until I talked with several people, they go, no, those are supposed to be glued in. Well, now these are definitely glued in. You could probably get them out, much as I probably got mine out, but the old Disney Endeavor, yeah, you can have knives, which slides into his boot right there, and you can have katanas to cut people's heads off and do all that kind of stuff, which slide well, right? Nice weapons storage. But the guns, while they work, they don't work, and I don't care for So if you want to rip them out, now I'm going to leave these in here because the red one is my preferred Deadpool, and it's fine for what it is. But you get what I mean. Yeah, it's uh, it's just meh. But the articulation on this guy is solid, right? He's got double jointed elbows. He's got the wrists. He's got all kinds of posability options. Have him going for Tana. Have him waving. You know, it works in the sense of they're solid. You never feel like you're gonna break him, which is great. Like in looking at the recent Defenders of the Earth NECA figures. Yeah, you got a problem there. This one is solid, so I can honestly tell you that no risk of breakage, all the posability that you like. They're tested. Throw this around, you're going to be real happy with them. Some of the joints, though, are a little bit gummy, especially in the knees, we'll just say that, and at the elbows, but that's typical for Marvel Legends figures, so just go easy on them in those areas. Comparing the two together, I definitely like the more solid red, of course. This, I'm gonna recommend if you're a completionist or if you really like Deadpool 2 because there's really no difference. I would have preferred the mutant inhibitor collar or much less just a different head. That would have been awesome. I have a lot of Deadpools apparently in my collection. It wasn't until pulling them all out. These aren't even all the ones that I have and yes, I made sure to put Venom Pool in there. <laughs> he was in the Venoms, totally forgot about him. But. Yeah, we're up to our eyeballs in Deadpools, and there are a lot of great ones. Don't get me wrong, I really like Boxer's Pool, and the classic Deadpool, and the old Toy Biz Deadpool, and I have a NECA one, and a Diamond Select, and they're all great for various reasons. Heck, even, you know, Headpool right here on his car, which is the second Headpool. I have a different one that came with uh, Lady Deadpool, and of course the Hascon exclusive. There's a lot of Deadpools, you get what I'm telling you, but in this sense, I don't really see the necessity for this one, this new movie, Deadpool. It's just a repaint, and it is missing. Like, let's say it could have been singed a lot more. The belt is a little bit too bright. He's missing duct tape. I've seen a lot of people 
say, oh, it should have had like a duct tape. No, this is a straight up repaint. So they're not going to redo the costume, which they sculpted. And that's unfortunate. But at least give us an inhibitor collar or give us a different head sculpt, something to that degree, because this is just straight up for those that are completionists or just big fans of Deadpool. He's great. He's articulated. He comes with all the weapons. It's the wrong color if you want a more traditional type Deadpool, but it is a good figure. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Deadpool. And again, thank you to Hasbro for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend and bring that maximum effort. And also, if there's time, make those chimichangas. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.